Welcome to the Ketamine Startup Podcast. This is the first podcast for entrepreneurial medical professionals talking all about providing ketamine therapy, running a business, marketing, and more. My co-host, Kimberly Co, and I are two physicians who have ventured into the ketamine space. We've learned a lot of lessons, taught several clinicians just like yourself, and we've made a few friends along the way. In this podcast, we share our experience and knowledge, plus all about the ketamine industry pioneers and leaders throughout our interviews. So real quick, who is this podcast not for? This podcast is not for you if you're a psychonaut or a patient looking for medical advice. We love and appreciate you, but please save your precious time and check out some other podcasts. And who is this podcast for? This is for you if you are a medical professional or clinician in the psychedelic therapy space who wants your questions answered regarding what it's really like to run a ketamine clinic, plus you want to learn about the past the present, and the future of ketamine therapy. If this sounds like you, keep listening to some highlights from our upcoming episodes. It's not very often in history that some medication has a one indication, uh, just a whole way of using it, which then everything gets radically changed. It is just completely different. It is completely different what we're doing now versus what we're doing in the ER, you know, I mean, in the emergency department, it's all about the intention. I think it also is important to like acknowledge that a lot of people coming into opening a ketamine clinic is coming from a space of burnout. You know, that's sometimes that's the impetus that you need to get out of your situation, to do something new, something risky, something way out there. I think the key piece of advice that I would give someone looking to open their ketamine clinic is what is your intention? Mm. And to know truly deep down why for you, are you doing it? I want to see ketamine expand. You know, I think it's great that it is expanding. I hope that more pain physicians will also take it on to treat chronic pain. If you're going into this, you're not going into this to get rich. You're going into this to help people remind yourself of that. I mean, I still need to be able to pay for the cost and pay for my time that I'm not working clinically, but at the same time, just helping people and how much does that like the satisfaction and like the happiness that brings me? I'm happier doing this. It takes a lot of courage to start something new, a ton of courage. And I love this concept about courage. Courage is not the absence of fear, but action in the face of fear. Thanks for listening. So what can you do now? Well, please subscribe to our podcast or tune in to listen to our latest episode when it drops.